we're going to talk about refeeding after a prolonged fast. And I'm talking about maybe four, five to seven day fast. I'm not talking about like two days. It's a rare situation, but it can occur. It's called the refeeding syndrome. And what happens is you're getting a shift of nutrients from your blood to the cells, inside the cells. So you have extracellular to intracellular in a malnourished state. So let's say, for example, you have nutrient deficiencies already going into a fast, which by the way, you should never have anyone with nutritional deficiencies. Like let's say you have an alcoholic or someone who's anorexic or something like that, and you have known vitamin nutrient deficiencies or some disease, and then you have them fast and not take supplements during their fasting period. Quite dangerous because what will happen is that as soon as they start eating and get this flood of nutrients, it's gonna go inside the cell and really drop the nutrients inside the blood, like phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, and even B1, and it can be quite dangerous. You can actually faint. You can have a lot of cramping in your stomach uh, and a lot of other more serious symptoms. So you wanna break a fast slowly, but here's the thing. If you're taking nutrients, electrolytes, B vitamins, during the fasting period, and sea salt, you're gonna to be totally fine. I'm talking about a situation where you're not. And the other point is that when you break the fast with non-keto-friendly foods, okay, let's say they're higher carbohydrate foods, that alone can deplete your potassium, your phosphorus, your magnesium, and your B1 because those foods deplete nutrients and that can create uh, a big problem. So you always want to break the fast with keto-friendly foods and do it slowly and gradually go into fasting over a period of time so you don't shock the system. I just wanna bring this point up because I did have someone actually faint after two days of fasting and it was because they did not have enough uh, nutrients, and then they broke the fast with a, uh, with a higher carbohydrate meal. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.